here because it just felt like the same riot that VidCon was trying to prevent is the same riot that happened at your event. Okay, probably for different reasons, but it's the same thing. Now VidCon is probably laughing at you. And hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I created this look and I also spoke about the whole Shane and TanaCon situation that's going on. So basically this video is a chit chat get ready with me i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you want to see how i got this look stay tuned <laughs> okay guys so i've already primed my eyelid and i know what i'm kind of going for normally when i do these looks i'm not really sure what i'm going for but this time i have an idea so today i wanted to like do a chit chat get ready with me and also talk about what has been buzzing lately on youtube and it is TanaCon and the fact that shane dawson is like jumping into it now first of all i love shane he is amazing and i'm glad that he decided to you know jump on this especially because most of the videos that you've been seeing on youtube people are saying like listen i came here for Shane. So first I'm going into this little palette and I'm using this brownish tone as my transition tone. Um, I feel like Shane knows that his reputation is literally like, or probably not even his reputation because this was not his event, you know, but being who he is, I just see Shane going into this and getting answers for these subscribers and trust and believe people need answers so uh he's been interviewing people and stuff like that and today i watched the interview with michael and there's so much inconsistency to their whole story it just does not make any sense first of all tana is so young and michael is so young too and i'm 24 and if i was planning an event i would make sure that listen all the people I'm hiring for this event, I'm either sure about them or almost sure about them. I'm making sure everything is good because having a huge platform like Tana does, like when shit hits the fan, it's you. It's everything is on you. Nobody is saying, oh, this other person is to be blamed or that other person is to be blamed. You told us about this event. We paid our money to either come see you or or favorite youtubers that you told us is gonna be there like you did this sis so you have to take some responsibility and the day when the first day of TanaCon when shit literally hit the fan i i felt like it was disappointing no i did not buy a ticket no i was not interested in going but still you know it's happening whether i decided i wanted to go or not it's happening and that's just that i i just feel like look it's your event and it's bad that it's going the way how it's going but come out and say something and i get it it's probably the hardest thing in the world to do because of course you did not plan for your event to fail but um, that's what's happening like it's literally going down the drain so sis come out and say or do something right now because this already looks bad you know what i mean and it i know it's probably sucks to be tana right now because it's it's just so bad and today when i watched the other part of shane's video part two i was like damn let me go look at tana's channel to see if it like the subscribers went down if they've gone up or whatever the case may be you know what i mean i mean i feel like her subscribers are loyal and they'll stick around but to be honest this is a whole shit show now in the preview for like the third part of this whole thing you're seeing where michael who was riding around on the segue uh tana is like confronting him and saying you know you told me this was your mom's real estate money and this and that and whatever and now it's beginning to look like okay now y'all all knew or had some form of idea of what was something fell both tana and him and the people who were involved in the planning of this whole thing had some idea of what was going on you know what i mean i'm not gonna just get up and allow a total stranger to plan an event let me just cut my crease
I'm not gonna allow a total stranger to just get up and plan an event that is so important to me you know what I mean and I feel like when I started seeing the videos of the kids at the event and they were like we need our money back and it started a riot it reminded me of when Tano was doing her video talking about VidCon and this and that and whatever because it just felt like the same riot that VidCon was trying to prevent is the same riot that happened at your event okay probably for different reasons but it's the same thing and they were trying to keep their creators safe VidCon was clearly trying to keep their creator safe, which is understandable, but now this whole Tana situation just looks like everybody knew that, listen, or let me just say Michael, it just looks like he knew that invest some money wherever you should get it from because you're going to make back some money from this. I was watching a girl's video and she was asking everybody, did you see anybody with like the free passes or whatever? And everybody looks like they had the same passes. I went on the website because I'm like, let me see. How much these tickets cost and when i went on there everything was sold out you know what i mean just to check and like see what's going on and it said everything was sold out and now everybody's saying it looked like from the jump everybody have been paying for their tickets which is also crazy if uh, i don't know like it's only so much i could stay here and say because i'm it's easier to look in um from the outside than to actually know what's going on i probably shouldn't have gone with purple because and i get that the whole thing looks bad now and now tana's crying and it's just like oh my gosh shane i'm so sorry but what did you think when you were going into this like what were your thoughts like i feel like the whole event was just not planned properly you cannot and i'm not saying there can't be a 21 year old who is very responsible and has their shit together but this is where the research comes in you know what i mean it's it's just crazy that you trusted this person and now it's like also disappointing and to hear that everybody was talking before that oh he does this and he does that and whatever the hell he does because there's only so much i can say from here because i don't know this person and i'm just talking you know what i mean but still the when i'm trying to find something like if i'm trying to figure out how to do something the first thing i do is i search youtube because i feel like everything's just there so i'm thinking you would have tried like googling this person finding out who the hell this person is but then again this is probably because this is somebody she already knew this is not turning out how i want on it but we're gonna work with it i'm gonna just blend this in right now honestly literally because <laughs> it already changed from what I wanted it to be initially this is why I stick to like the simplest shit when it comes on to makeup because I swear to god even when I'm so hot today's such a hot day I feel like even when I have a look planned out to the T some, something always happens I'm gonna go in with a little bit of something to make it pop here yep it's cute you ready and I, I in some way I feel sorry for Tana because this whole thing looks bad it looks so bad it really looks so bad but what are we gonna do you know I feel like her fans just want to hear her come out and at least say what she knows because apparently she only knows so much and then to hear that she was on vacation before a week before two weeks before whatever like you'd like to think because this is your event even though you put somebody in charge of basically planning the event you don't want to make sure that you know exactly what's going on like okay two months before is a good time for a vacation but not when you're planning an event like this and i also feel like we're she went wrong because when when the guy found like the venue and whatever he had to have come back to you and said listen i found this venue this this and that you should have done your research too to at least make sure that even though you sold five thousand tickets or whatever you were on twitter telling people to roll through so even since you told people that 
and you only sold 5,000 tickets, I'd say make sure that the venue that you're getting can hold twice the amount of tickets that you sold since this is supposed to be a free event and especially because it's literally blocks from where VidCon was. So people might want to come over from VidCon to come there, you know what I mean? And this just shows you too that this is why you don't plan revenge events. Like, first of all, who plans a whole revenge event? It don't make no sense. You don't... No, that's just not what you do. And I get it. It's easy for me to sit here and talk shit because I don't know exactly how she felt all those years going to VidCon and literally being thrown out and being banned and all that stuff. I cannot know how she felt because I wasn't there and I've never been in a position like that. But still, you don't plan a whole revenge event. I get it. You want to meet your subscribers. So, okay, plan your own event to meet your subscribers but don't don't plan it out of revenge for vidcon and put it in literally in like the same space where vidcon is and all that stuff because when shit hits the fan now vidcon is probably laughing at you and it looks shitty it really looks shitty and then now this is probably going to be bad because now people are probably going to question your credibility what if you decide to really go all out and put on another event how many people are gonna come how many people are gonna say you know what i'm not even gonna waste my time because the last time i did it was a complete shit show i mean i get that subscribers are loyal these days so they probably still come even though they had a bad experience with this one but i don't feel like your reputation should be on the line just because you decide that you want to be petty towards a big ass company slash corporation that has been doing this for years and i'm sure there's a lot of planning and a lot of stress that goes into planning these big events <laughs> just planning a birthday party for my eight year old who was like six at the time when i did her birthday party was stressful and she literally had like a dozen friends and then their moms and shit like that and it was stressful like i didn't want to be involved in planning it ever again but it's my kid so it's probably something i'm gonna end up doing either ways but i'm just saying that in itself was stressful and i was what then now i'm 24 23 22 i was 22 then and if i thought it was stressful then shit i can just imagine what planning a bigger event the stress from planning a bigger event feels like it's <laughs> It's no planning a six-year-old's birthday party type stress. It's more stress, way more stress too. And this goes to show also that when you're doing these things, it takes time and effort and planning. And Michael said in Shane's video, you know, he was almost like not even really sure because half the time when he was talking, his shit just didn't seem like it made any sense to me. To me, I just felt like, you know, he was just like, let me put some money in this this is gonna be uh there's gonna be a huge return so this is gonna be good for me either way i'm gonna make back what i put in and whatever because if we're being honest when it comes on to money and making money people will invest money if they think they can make some money back nobody's gonna blindly invest some money not thinking there's anything to be made the world just don't work like that and if we're being realistic that just don't happen you know what I mean? So I just feel like that's how that part of it went. Him saying he's gonna lose everything, this, that, and whatever. Yeah, now you're gonna lose everything because you invested what wasn't even yours to begin with. And that is that shows greed. Like you are so greedy, you're gonna invest what's not even yours, and now your whole whatever career you have is on the line, which sucks for you because this wasn't even your event but still you decided to do it the whole thing just looks bad on Tano and it sucks but sis you planned it or maybe you didn't physically plan it yourself but your name is on it you know and I've, I've I watch a lot of influencers and I've heard them say before listen anything that my name is gonna be on has to be good and it makes so much sense listen if your name is gonna be on it you better make sure it is good so at the end of the day you don't look like shit because that's not gonna look good nobody's gonna trust you it's almost like and people already said oh tana's a liar and this that and whatever 
it's almost like those influencers who they <laughs> they do so many sponsored gigs and i get it the bills have to be paid and whatever but sometimes it comes off as you will literally partner with a brand on anything even shit you don't like just because it's getting you money so people are not gonna trust you anymore and uh, let's hope Tana has like really supportive subscribers who are gonna just forgive her for this and be like bitch listen we love you and we saw what you were trying to do and we are ready to move on and I feel like the part so many people believed in her like so many big creators creators that I watch Casey Neistat Shane Dawson and his whole team you know so many people believed in her enough to think it would go well and it's so amazing when you have people too who believes in you and then for it to fail like this like how are you going to convince the same people who believed so much in you to begin with and watch this turn into a shit show literally how are you going to convince them um a year or two down the line when you really spend some time and plan an event how are you going to convince them to come to your event when this is how this one turned out i just don't see it working out i use this brush for my powder brush but i don't know what's been happening with these stupid um other part of it it's like gone but right now it's whatever it's just bad how the whole event turned out i really wanted it to be a success just so she could be like see people doubted me and and it's not even to be petty because trust and believe i can be petty when i want but i just don't believe in being petty because i feel like karma always wins you know karma is always going to deal with the people who treated you like trash and who dealt with you shitty but it's just like if you're gonna keep i feel like if you're gonna have a meet and greet then that's different let people rsvp or whoever decides to show up then fine or just make sure you have a big enough venue for whatever you're that's also another point like with all the big creators i was gonna say this earlier and then i stopped to do something else with all the big creators that tana got on board for this event tana should have never thought that even if even if it wasn't really ten thousand people which now it, it's beginning to look like there was never 10 to 15,000 people there but still make sure that the venue is at least big enough other than it being too small to hold the amount of people who actually paid for tickets and now it looks like that's exactly what happened like you cannot be out here planning something and selling that much ticket and booking a venue that doesn't even hold the amount of people that you sold tickets for so now it just looks like everything is all about the money which looks shitty i mean the world that's what runs the world i'd like to say but still if if it's gonna be an event where you're charging people then just charge them and be done and everybody knows that listen we're gonna pay and oh, we're gonna get what we pay for as opposed to it being like no it's gonna be free and then the next thing you know when everybody shows up everybody seems like they paid and it's just a whole huge situation all over it's just terrible and i really feel bad for tano because in her videos i i, I really like her vibe and you know she gives you that vibe she's real raw and relatable and that's how i i try to be like if i'm gonna post something and it's not like what i want it to be i can't be as honest as i want to be i don't want to post it anymore because i want to be real raw and relatable to whoever is watching my videos like i don't want later on in life when i'm looking back at my videos it's reflecting a whole different person from who i really am or from who i claim to be because that's not what i want my videos are from memories and so later i have them to show my kids and stuff like that not so I can put on a show and try to be a whole other person then later on looking back at them I look so stupid because I'm just like who was I really trying to be like seriously and I'm not saying that's what Tana was doing but it's the whole thing was a mess I feel like in conclusion I'm just trying to say um <laughs> 
I was gonna say I don't blame Tana, but somebody is to be blamed and it was her event, you know what I mean? But um, I feel like the whole thing was poorly planned and it's no way you could, even if you have like a planning team and whatever, there are gonna be some last minute stuff that you're gonna need to go over that week before the event or the next couple of days before the event or something like that which means that is going to be no time for a vacation which i feel like was bad on tana's part but the whole thing was poorly planned the guy michael seems like he didn't know what he was doing and tana trusted him and that just made the whole thing a shit show because planning was left to somebody who did not know what they were doing. I'm gonna just use some mascara because I don't know who I was fooling when I thought I was a beauty guru and thought I knew how to put um, lashes on with my nails this length. I don't think they're longer than I normally wear my nails, but I don't know what they're doing today. And today is not the day to figure that out. Of course, mascara decided to do the mouse too. So let's just clean that up real quick. It's good that Shane um, decided to take control of this and like pretty much see the questions that people are asking or from the outside, it's easier to know what you'd wanna ask and basically getting answers for, answers to the questions for all the people who literally have questions because i feel like even if you didn't go to the event just the fact that you watch some of these people who were supposed to be at the event you want to know you know what's good because it's not just that it looks bad on tana it just looks bad in general it's just a bad it's just bad literally just bad and it sucks that it is and I wouldn't want to be in Tana's position right now and I get that all she can do right now is cry because the aim that she had at first when she was planning this it just didn't turn out that way and now she looks bad and it's bad enough that before people were saying she's a liar and this and that and whatever but now how do you look when you decide to go up against like a big corporation or brand or company and you look stupid because your plan didn't work out whether people want to admit it or not that's how it looks it literally looks stupid it's easy for me to talk because i've never planned anything bigger than a six-year-old's birthday party but it just looks bad i feel like that's all i've been trying to say this whole time something looks shady it looks like this was the plan from the jump according to what Shane said and like looking at everything now it just looks like this boy knew that what he was doing was not gonna work but he just did it just the same because he had already invested his money and that's just how it is I just feel like people need to get their money back and y'all need to make up for and and it's so hard to make up for the people who were who got sunburn and all that stuff it was so much that went into this I don't know she Tana has to be good to come back from this and probably Shane is gonna help a great deal in doing that. Anyways, let me set my face. I literally almost drowned myself just now. I've been wearing my hair in this puff, afro puff for the past couple of days. It's been working for me because when I do it like this, I don't really have to like do anything to it for another five six days i literally wake up and all i have to do is like pull on it for the parts that i slept on and it's still nice and puffy and good so this is the nice bronzy look and i kind of always go for like a bronzy look every time i do my makeup because it works i don't know <laughs> Anyways, that's it for this whole 
Tana Khan, Shane Khan, the YouTubers Khan <laughs> situation. It's sad, but um, it is what it is. I cannot wait for the next episode. It's literally going to be a long weekend. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. And of course, make sure you subscribe because it's free and I don't con people. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you guys subscribe, give the video a thumbs up because all of what I just mentioned is free and I will see you guys in my next video.